Welcome to the Hungaro Ring. This season will see us reach the midpoint of what's been a thrilling 2014 campaign. So before we get on with this weekend's action, let's take a look back at all the drama and highlights from the first three rounds. The Euro Formula Open season started at the Nürburgring. It was the teenage sensation Alex Parlo who led away as behind Che Wan Lim and others got involved in first corner antics. Returning to the championship was last year's runner-up Sandy Stuvik, but there was nothing he could do as Paolo took the win from Stuvik and Kanemaru. Race two, though, Sandy Stuvik made amends, taking advantage of a mechanical for Paolo. He led from lights to flag ahead of teammate Artur Janos. Behind, the action was fast and frantic. But out front, Stuvik was untroubled. He led the standings, leaving Germany. On to Portimao and the RP Motorsport cars of Stuvik and Janos dominated as behind. There was plenty of action. Aaron Stern, an early retiree, one of many. Some brilliant racing to be found throughout the field. John Simonian in the thick of the action as he rotates into retirement. Janos claimed victory. Second race, South Al Faisal took his turn to be pitched into retirement. It's John Simonian. Aaron Stern engaged in a frenetic battle that ended with that incident. Stern also losing his nose in the late stages. Stuvik led for his second victory of the season. In Jerez, that became wins three and four, as Stuvik became the first driver in 2014 to do the double. Once more, it was Stuvik and Janos who dominated the weekend. And once more, John Simonian was an early spinner in race one. Also flying was Drado Nieto, and he to move up through the field until that off-track excursion. Also flying were the Campos cars of Alex Palo, Konstantin Tereshenko, and Sean Walkinshaw moved those sufficient to give Palo fourth in race one. So it was a victory for Stuvik, Arto Janos in second place, and Yaren Stern completed the rostrum. On to race two, and it initially looked like we are going to get a different result as Artur Janos led away from pole. Over-defensive manoeuvre off the line saw him being awarded a drive-through penalty. Behind William Barbosa was an early casualty. As almost was Sean Walkinshaw. So he his place, teammate Tereshenko tagged him. Thus Pola was flying up through the field. As was Janos recovering from that drive-through penalty until that spin led to contact with Tanak Sathi and Thirakul, both of them retiring, leaving Stuvik to win from Alex Palu in the Aaron Stern. So Stuvik leads the way. Personally, I think that uh, Euro Formula Open is one of the most important championships in the Formula 3. is a championship where we compete in the most important circuit in Europe. The, the level of the car is good, also the level of the team and the level of the competitors. So I think that this could be a very good uh, opportunity for the drivers to do a lot of kilometer and uh, to make a very important experience in a European championship. In Portimao and Israel Reds, uh, Gerardo did a very good performance. Uh, I think that he's doing a very good job, he's improving race by race, so I think that uh, until the end of the season he will achieve uh, important results and I really hope that he will win some race because he has the potential to do it. Also Rick is doing a very good job but he needs to do more experience because this is his first year in Formula 3, he's coming from Formula Renault but I think that he's doing a very good job and before the end of the season he will achieve also Rick important results. Drama filled race one from the Euro Formula Open drivers. Artur Janos, though, made a good start from pole position but was pressurised by Alex Palo and Sandy Stuvik into the first corner. Stuvik went for a lunge, realised he couldn't make it, and took evasive action across the grass. As behind Team West Tech teammates, Cameron Twynham and Nicholas Polo tangled, Twynham being inverted. Fortunately, the British driver was okay, but it did prompt a rather lengthy safety car period whilst the car was recovered. When the action got back underway, all eyes were on the scrap between Yaren Stern and Che Wan Lim. The Korean driver initially able to withstand the pressure from the Israeli. It's out front, Janos and Palo set the pace. The teenage Spaniard though couldn't get onto turns with the pole. 
Meanwhile, Lim, having been passed by Stern, went for a move. The pair collided. Stern was out on the spot. And as Lim recovered, it was into the path of Christopher Hoa. The pair of them then locking wheels coming out of Turn 1. And crunching into the Armco barrier. Both of them out on the spot. Enrique Baptista was having a super race in the DAV car as he and New Kanemaro battled wheel to wheel. For our two channels though, it was a perfect day. Pole position, fastest lap, and then race victory. His second triumph of the season as he closes back in on Sandy Stuvik at the top of the standings. It's a celebration for RP Motorsport. Janos wins, teammate Saravia in third, with Alex Palo the runner-up. Excellent, really great. The debate was really good, very warm inside, but I did it and it was a really safe race. I say home drive because the nearest of my home, so I'm really happy that I win here. We finished second today, another time. We're still working for the win. We need the win to be competing in the championship and nothing. We will keep working until the last day for win. In the first lap uh, before the safety car, I were trying to be like Arthur and I make the mistake in the last corner. Then he gave me 10 meters or something and then I could, I can't uh, win that 10 meters. Open race two, and Artur Janos sprints away from pole position ahead of a fast starting Alex Parlo and championship leader Sandy Stuvik. This time, the pack a bit more controlled as they surged into the first corner, though Cameron Twining looked to gain ground as John Simonian ran out of road, losing several places. At the end of the first lap, Saldal Faisal one of the first casualties as he spun away at the rear of the pack. Also in trouble, West Tech teammates. Tanar Sathian Thirakul coming off worse as he clattered into teammate Wafen Thong. This then the move that decided the race. Palo to the inside of Janos, a super darting pass to the inside at turn six. And Yarin Stern looking to make amends from the disappointment of race one, moved clear of teammate Nicholas Polo with Gerardo Nieto in close pursuit. Retreated to an excellent fight for what became third place between Chris Hoa and Konstantin Tereshenko. That error from the Austrian promoting the Russian Tereshenko to score his maiden podium. In trouble though was John Simonian crashing out on the final turn. As Nicholas Pola, Gerardo Nieto and Sean Walkinshaw battled wheel to wheel late on into the race. So Alex Pola was who romped clear to score his second victory of the season. Artur Janos home in second place to move to the head of the championship after Sandy Stuvik was forced into retirement with a mechanical issue. It's a day to celebrate for Campos Racing first and third with Tereshenko claiming his first ever podium in the category despite the pursuit of Chris Hoa. It's a celebration time for Paolo, Janos delighted with his trip to the Hungara ring and Tereshenko promising more to come as the season progresses. It's perfect, we start third, in the start we came second and then in the second lap of third, I don't remember now, I come first, then I get the advantage, uh, I think two seconds, and then unfortunately comes the safety. But at the end, when the safety comes out, we're still in two seconds. Now I'm not thinking in the championship. It's good that I'm very close to today, but I'm very happy because uh, we work to be first. Um, at the beginning of the session, the season, we were not uh, as fastest, and now we are.
two excellent races there in the Euro Formula Open. Artur Janos takes the championship lead at mid-season. It couldn't be closer. Join us in a couple of weeks' time with all of the action from Silverstone.